Hey what's going on guys, Brad here. Today we have a brand new Duel Links huge updates video. Now I am a bit late on this one, do apologise, I know other content creators have already got their impressions and reactions out on this, but this is my first time seeing this. It's about it's about lunchtime now, it's been out for about six hours now, and I've managed to remain spoiler free. So hopefully we get something good because it is a world championship month, which means that uh they're not always the best months, honestly. Like they, they kind of want to put a focus on that and then everything else kind of uh isn't usually that good, so uh, hoping for the best. Let's have a look. First up, we have Leo and Lewis Dual Carnival. Oh, okay, so this was a uh, data mine. This was leaked a while ago, about a month ago. I think we talked about this. So cool, we're finally getting it. A new team event is coming. Accumulate event points to obtain the new UR card, Beast Machine King Barbaros UR, and the SR card Armored White Bear. So we have two new cards to talk about today, and I can see we have more to talk about as well. So let's go load up uh, our browser and see what these cards are all about. So, first up, Beast Machine King Barbaros UR, it's a level 8, 3,800 attack, 200 defense Beast Warrior, that's pretty good. You can special this card from your hand by banishing one Machine type and one Beast Warrior type from hand, field, or graveyard. That's... That's pretty easy, I, I feel like that's gotta be pretty easy to do, like, maybe Scraps can do that? Uh, I'm not too sure what other decks kind of all work together, but I guess if you're splashing in Cyber Dragon into anything, then, uh, kinda makes this card live immediately. If this card attacks or is attacked, your opponent takes no bow damage. I think that's pretty fair, given that you can get this guy out very easily. And you can... He's got a big attack anyway, so... I feel like if this card doesn't see competitive success, because... I know that the original Beast King Barbaros did. Like, in the TCG, this card I don't think saw as much. But for farming, this could be really good, because you just get two monsters in the graveyard. Special this card out, get two of them on the board, then use your standard Vassal combo. So, I feel like for farming, this card might be a go-to card in the future, so... You might want to grab this if you can from the event. And then we have the next card is Armored White Bear, which is actually a Tag Force 5 or 6, sorry, only card. So another card, another anime card we're getting in Duel Links. Level 4 Water Beast, 1800 attack, 1400 defense. When this card is drawn by bounce into the graveyard or by card effect, that's really good as well. Special 1 level 4 lower Light Beast type from your deck or graveyard, I believe. The only ones we kind of have are uh, Wolf Lights 1 Beast. We have the... Uh, the Phantom Beast, like Rock Lizard, that kind of thing, Crosswing, I think Crosswing is the one. And uh, Bujins, I think Yamato also fits in with this uh, actual uh, requirement. So, I guess you could use some Bujins, I don't know how useful it would be, but call another generic uh, level for, like, Searcher. And I don't, I think this would work with Mother Grizzly, I think this would, I think this has the right kind of thing. You could summon this Mother Grizzly, and you can also get out Mother Grizzly with this, so... Actually, no, you can't, because it's a light in it, so... This might be like your last kind of card using Mother Grizzly, I'm not too sure, but it's another card like Mother Grizzly, and that's really cool, we're getting more of these in Duel Links. So, let's go back to Duel Links to check out what's next on the updates. We have Solomon Odeon. Solomon, Solomon Odeon is back. Windows obtained the new UR card, Grandmark, the Rock Monarch, and SI card, the Prime Monarch. Is that right? Because I swear we have Grandmark already, let's uh... I swear we have Grandmark. Like, let me, let me have a look real quick, because I, th I thought it was in a box as a super rare. So, that must be wrong. Otherwise, they're rarity bumping a card and giving it to us for free. So, Grandmog. Yeah, we do. We have Grandmog. It came out in, what box was this? It was Crusader Battlegrounds a long time ago. Does that mean that we're meant to be getting the Mega Monarch? Because that would make more sense as a, as a UR. So, I'm going to go and quickly load these cards up, and then we'll talk about them, and I'll talk about the Mega Monarch, because... I feel like that's the card it's meant to be. So we have Grandmog the Mega Monarch, level 8, pretty beefy, 2800 attack, that's real nice. You can trip summon this card by tripping one tribute summoned monster, so mainly you want to go for like a uh, the Grandmog normal with this because it will get a, that additional bonus, but still, you must tribute a tribute summoned monster, so that's, that's pretty easy, I think. When this card is tribute summoned, target two set cards on the field, destroy those targets, so it is a bit of a bigger monster, better effect than uh, normal Grand Marg, and this kind of does make sense because we are getting a ton of back removal cards in like the main box with half shot, and then obviously now free to play alternatives in a pretty big boss font, that's pretty cool. If it was tribute summoned by tributing an earth monster with it, you can also draw one card, so uh, that's also really cool. So you get to draw one, destroy two, and uh, you get a big boy on board, so really, really cool. We'll definitely like, Arrival Rivals I think we'll see play with this because you'll be able to do it in the uh, in the battle phase, so like, that turn you could summon out your Grand Marg, Destroy one, then in your battle phase, play of rivals, summon out Grand Mark, the Mega Monarch, and then go and target two more back rows and draw a card and have an even bigger boy on the field after potentially you've attacked your normal Grand Mark. So, 
Very, very cool strategy there. And the next card we have is the Prime Monarchs, a trap card, continuous trap card. Once per turn, target two Monarch spell traps in your graveyard, shuffle them into the deck, and then draw one card. I believe we have like Escalation of the Monarchs and the first Monarch. I think those are the two of the best traps we have. We don't have uh, Pantheism or uh, there's another spell card that's really, really good. So uh, this will get better over time, but this is a card I believe saw play in the TCG. So uh, definitely one you want. It's an Idiotis pack as well. So uh, yeah, it's definitely one that saw play in the TCG. If this card is in your graveyard, you can banish one of the Monarch spell trap from your graveyard to special in defense mode as a normal monster with 2400 defense. That's really cool. And it's not just a trap card, so it can't be destroyed by you know targeting a back row card like with Grand Marg. So that's pretty cool. But still, again, more trap monster support, and that does help with the... Uh, the whole Monarch strategy, so very, very nice there. So, Solemn Odeon bringing some uh, pretty, pretty cool cards, it seems, with him. Then, of course, we have the World Championship Finals, which are going to be happening uh, August 10th, 7.30 to August 11th at 5 o'clock. That's, uh, I think that's wrong. I feel like that's wrong. I feel like it's meant to be, like, a day later. Um, so, yeah, I feel like it's meant to be August 11th to August 12th, because it's happening on the weekend. That's just... Let's just double check. Um, uh, no, it's 10th and 11th. Okay, wow, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm just wrong. Okay, so yeah, that is the right time. So yeah, hopefully that's got, they'll be streamed through the app as well. So hopefully that means not just like via the dual room thing you could click like last year because that was a bit of a bit of a hassle to kind of navigate around. Uh, hopefully it means they'll be streamed like just via a in-video thing because then, you know, content creators can potentially react to it, do coverage of it themselves. When Konami is, and that could be kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's see who's going to win. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's someone we know. Like, if DK wins, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, if Sunson wins, that'd be pretty cool as well. I didn't just gave away who I voted for. Uh, but, yeah, let's uh, let's go on. Mid-August Tag Duel Tournament is like is coming back again. Unlock Gloomus and Umbra, and a brand new skill for them as well. I don't know what the skill is. I can't remember if we have any of the data mines that we haven't got just yet. But Gloomus and Umbra again coming. That's very nice. Again, a new character field that doesn't have him. And some new reward cards. More gems, you know. Pretty cool, this will also mean that at some point Limson Umbra will come to the gate as well. Surprisingly, Sartorius isn't here yet because he had his last gate event like last month, so I'm wondering why he isn't here. Or like this month, so I'm wondering why he isn't here in August, like as a gate reward. Because usually mid-August you get Sartorius out of the gate, so uh Huh, that's uh Unless they plan to do like a Ubel and do like another event with another new character, that could be pretty cool. Then, what do we have? Mid-August Duel Quest. Okay, that, that's fine. Late August, obtain a Legendary Duelist, a Dark Signer in Duel World. Yes! I've, I've already predicted your fate, but can you escape it? That is Dark Signer Carly Carmine with uh, Earthbound Water Aslopiscu with the uh, Fortune Ladies. That is going to be her coming to Duel Links. Of course, we'll have uh, plenty of videos talking about what she's going to be bringing to the game uh, over the couple of coming weeks, basically. So, I look forward to those. And yeah, she's going to be our newest Dark Sun character. No roaming event to get her first. So, you know, straight into an unlock. That's really, really good. And hopefully this means, because like it's a very quick turnaround from Kalen to Carly. So hopefully this means they're going to speed up the 5D's character unlock. And hopefully we, you know, maybe we'll get more Dark Signers. Maybe we'll get Misty for, for what 007. Maybe that'll be a, a thing that happens. But yeah, like they are blazing through these 5D's characters. Hopefully that means that there are more 5 d characters in the works we don't know of just yet, because again, I'm kind of thinking that Zexal isn't coming this year, so... Yeah, that's pretty cool. Then late August mission circuit underway, complete missions to race from the circuit, obtain reward cards such as gems and a new SR card Necroid Synchro. I loved the current mission circuit we just had, that was really really good for gem output on like the first couple of days. Once you got the Star Dragon bonus, like, the last three days, the gem output went way down, so... Honestly, if you're playing the event this next time round, Grind the hell out of it the first couple of days, get the most gems you can, and then you'll you'll thank me later. So let's have a look at Necroid Synchro, see what that kind that card does. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Necroid Synchro, there we go. Uh, show this up. So it is a spell card. Banish one tuner and up to two non-tuner monsters from your graveyard, and if you do, special one star sick monster from your extra deck, whose levels equal to total levels of those banished monsters, but its effects are negated. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, that can go for Starless Dragon, Starless Assault Warrior, and Starless Charged Warrior, I think it is. Now, the fact it's true to Synchro Summon, does that mean that if there's Tuna Monsters that have effects that work when they're used for Synchro Summoning, does that mean they work, or will they not work because they're getting banished? Like, I don't know how that interaction kind of works, so... 
have to wait and see because that can make for some very spicy plays with Necroid Synchro. But still a pretty fun card and definitely no a card to just take into a Star Stack. I guess you don't even run one of them because it is very specific using things in your graveyard. But, you know, like if you're running a Star Stack, you're probably running um, what grows in the graveyard really, I think. Because then you just get like the Junk Synchron combo out and then you kind of keep going from there. So I, I imagine you'll have cards in your graveyard to use with this very, very easily. So uh, Necroid Synchro looking pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited to try this one out. So uh, let's get back to the game. Last thing we get, I believe, is the KC Cup in September, yet we always get that, and that is that is it, that is it, that's the KC Cup coming in September, that's going to be pretty fun, again, we always have that in September, and then, after that, is when we usually see a new world coming to Duel Links, and so, when we get the upcoming updates for September, at the end of August, if it says a new development is happening in Duel Links, or a huge update is coming, then we know we're getting a brand new world coming to the game, and... That should be really fun. So the next couple, next basically the next month is literally waiting on that announcement of something new, something big happening in Duel Links. This this month in general looks better than I thought. Not as good as this month because this month was pretty heavy on like really new and exciting events. But title tournament coming back is always very very nice. Do enjoy that event. The uh, where is it? The what's it called? The uh, this one here, the Duel Carnival. That is my favorite event personally. Uh, I know we got like a, it's like Neos versus, uh, what's the card? Junk Warrior. There's like Blue Eyes versus Red Dragon Archfiend. Um, Darmagician versus Darmagician Girl. Those are some of the options you're going to be facing in this event. So hopefully they've improved it over time. Because it has been a long time since we had this. Like, I would quite like the DD Tower to come back in some shape or form because that's been away for a very long time. The Gladiator Island event as well. That could come back as well at some point. So, uh, a lot we could do. And again, hopefully they clear up this Grand Mark thing here because uh, it, it has to be Grand Mark the Mega Monarch. Other than that, it's like one of the other Monarchs and then it's completely different because if it's like Caius or Ryza, then that's pretty mental. But I think it's going to be Grand Mark the Mega Monarch. So uh, hopefully, hopefully that is right because otherwise I don't know what Kamei is doing. Anyway, let me thoughts down below on the brand new updates uh, for Duel Links in, uh, in August. Seems pretty cool. Seems to be a couple of fun events and some new cards as well, especially some more anime cards, which is always nice to see. So uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time in this video. See you then.